my lord. This dude. You see those? Those stickers on his car for the Cowboys? Hey, I'm out of the out. Support who you want. I don't care about football. I could care less. Well, that was great, wasn't it? I just <laughs> I don't know why he put, like, stickers on the paint of his car. Why would you do that? Yes, sir. His car, though. What the hell do I care? today what are we going to talk about yeah okay so I was thinking on uh, after do you get inside your own head because I do often get inside my own head and will probably make things worse than what they are. And I don't entirely know how to fix it. I mean, I, I do. But being able to consciously remember how and remember to do that is another thing. Oh. This traffic doesn't stay like this. Man, I swear. This is BS. I leave early and I gotta deal with this crap. So, do it inside of your own head. Because I do, and I do it often, and it can, if I don't realize it and fix it, then it can lead to, yeah, me walking down a path, not physically, to a place of not good. I'm just, I become a person you just don't want to deal with. You don't want to deal with it, you don't want to be around. Hell, I don't even want to be around. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just one of those things. I tend to find this time of year to be bad about it, too. Like, I'll go through a point where I'm not doing, I'm not doing Christmas. I don't want anything to do with it no more. I'm done. It's just because I, it's the only way I guess I realize of how to do it. And great, my lane is closed in 1,500 feet. This dude has a, okay, he's had a hat. Number one, he has a handicap sign, a uh, tag on his truck. Number two, he has an assault rifle sticker on the back windshield of this truck that says assault life. That was just a little judgmental, wasn't it? It's pretty good. I shouldn't be like that. I don't know. When somebody huh, let me over. Thank you. Yeah, they let me over because I was going over. Thank you. Now who wants to get over? I'll let one person over. I'll be nice and do that. I'm not letting you over. You saw the signs way back there. You could get over. <laughs> but yeah, I just did that. Gotta love those double standards. Gotta love them. No, 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 yellow light. <laughs> We're not stopping. No, ma'am. 
on my car even though I'm pretty damn sure that I just scraped my rim at the bank in the drive-thru because I went to, oh I went to the ATM to deposit cash straight cash only for the ATM to tell me we can't accept one item you can't accept one of the bills what the hell you mean you can't it's cash so I back up and I go get in the like drive up drive through lane right and I asked the guy, I'm like, can you deposit this into my account? Here's my debit card. It's like, I need your ID for a deposit, whatever. Okay. So he goes, he goes to deposit it. And then I swear it was like five minutes later. He comes back and he's like, I'm sorry. I'm still working on it. You're depositing one bill into my checking account that I gave you the last four digits for. I was like, okay. He comes back. Probably like two or three minutes later. He's like, I'm sorry about the wait. I wanted to be like, I don't know what the hell took you so long to deposit. One bill. So as I'm sitting there waiting, it's running through my head. Oh my God, I hope that's not like counterfeit. And he's got my license. He's got my debit card. He's calling the police. And I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here waiting for the police to go. Oh, <laughs> my things up. I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, yep. That was counterfeit cash that I had and trying to deposit it. And <laughs> the police are coming to get me. I'm in it. It's okay.